everybody? I'm Allie, this is Luna, and today we are going to be trying the Baroque or the War Bridal, or they're also calling this like a medieval bridal, on a horse. Okay, Luna is an excellent guinea pig. And of course, this, the big difference with this, this is biothane and it's in black. And this is a cool bridle because it has the option to be either used as a side pull and you have these little straps that you can take off or it can be used as a cross under like a Dr. Cook's sword. So we're gonna use it as a cross under today or a Dr. Cook's. So we're not gonna use that extra strap. Now we have opened up the piece right here that is going to go over her nose. And remember, it's <laughs> this is where it gets complicated because you've gotta go up and over and you've gotta make sure that you fold the ear through one and the ear through the other. Now we haven't adjusted this quite yet. This is our first time using it. Now she is a Tennessee Walker cross. She has a smaller head. So we actually had to go with a cob size and I want this to fit kind of a little bit. I think I want to go ahead and go a little bit lower. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the side pieces. Ideally, you want the, the tip of, or the edge of your um, nose piece to be right above that cartilage. That's a little low right there. So we're going to go with that. Now, since it's a cross under style, you need to make sure that when you're putting your nose piece on, that you do get it kind of tight. So I'm able to get that fairly tight, but I want to be able to get a finger underneath it. That's a little too tight. So I'm going to just make it a little bit looser. There we go. Now this needs to come up one more. And you got to hold the forelock kind of in between. And so there you go. Now it's a little, it's still a little loose on her, but uh, we're going to work with that. Now remember with the crossover style, you need to make sure that it's not hitting on your nose band. And so it's actually underneath because where the pressure comes when you pull to the right, it should actually put pressure all the way underneath the jaw. So it works just slightly differently. So when you attach your reins, you need to make sure that the horse gives completely to it. Now it also puts pressure a little bit here on the pole. Got to make sure my hole has gone through there. It puts pressure a little bit on the hole. So the first thing you're going to do is ask for that pressure. Good. So she's responding rather nicely. Now, I don't like that this is uh, not crossing where it's supposed to. Now, they give you the extra strap here that you can modify this to actually hold those pieces that do the cross under. And what you do is you make sure you have an extra strap right here or an extra hole and you're gonna run basically a throat latch. So right here is a throat latch. And that's gonna keep that cross under from getting right here and hitting that buckle that's on your nose piece. Thank you much for joining me in today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We're putting out new content every week. And if you wanna see more, check out our playlist.